With just 27, he's got to win. A wild, almost amateurish right as locks, although he has a tendency to let the hand stay too low, but not yet connecting with a stiff left jab. He tried to get... That very two looks very good. He's using a very good story. Seven and a half years in Colorado State Prison. Elliot fought Ali here last May, and Ali scored an 11th round TK. A good right by Locke. A good right by Lyle, and he's got Foreman in trouble. He's got him in trouble. God staggering off the ropes, and Lyle all over him. Sitting right next to me for instruction. You see George in trouble. Get very confident and run away. Lyle right at him, but again with a wild swing. That's the first time George got in two good short left jabs, and that's what he must do. Lyle with a good left. George fighting back now. Howard, as you can see, Lyle is giving Foreman no respect and he's pressing the action now. That could be a mistake, Kenny. See that right come around and land on Foreman. Foreman in the red trunks, Lyle in the white. And the advisors are yelling to Foreman, keep those hands up. Now Quickly, Foreman landed a left and a right and another left, and Lyle's in trouble. He's against the ropes, trying to cover. Now let's see if George has learned what to do with an opponent against the ropes. Certain it is he didn't know what to do in Zaire. Look at that left of Foreman's get in there. And it's a different Lyle now. He's a little shaky. The leg's just a little rubbery. Foreman is a tremendous puncher. No question about that. Ken Norton can attest to that. I told you we'd have a slugfest, and that's what we've got. Very good counter right hand by uh, Lyle there. Very good. Saving by the bell. Fight is, by the way, using eight-ounce gloves. Hard. If you notice, uh, Ron Lyle's uh, over right hand is working very well on Foreman's left hand. His left hand is down, and Ron's going right over with an overhand right. round for Lyle, the second round for George Foreman. Be careful. You're right about the use of the right. There it was again over Foreman's left. But Foreman's jab is the good too, but he can't afford to uh, let Foreman really get off. He's got to be more aggressive and kind of force the action. Foreman is pawing, looking for the one big shot there. And Lyle's trying to counter. Less than 20 seconds left, and this is the third round. Foreman, the red from the fight. Approaching the end of the round. He's a teacher. Master's degree in recreation. He's been teaching all his life. Whether boxers, kids playing in the playground, or... I'm not for sure that the second round was only two minutes long. That's correct. Chet Porty, our producer, retimed the second round in our truck. Lyle all over. Lyle has Foreman in trouble. Foreman is down. It started with a right, then a left. Lyle putting on a tremendous... What's happened to him? Well, in the 15 months since Zaire, he's been relatively inactive except for that charade in Toronto against the frightful five. Now, Foreman fighting back. Oh, Foreman is in trouble. Lyle caught him with a good left. Now, George, now, now George struck back. Fight. Just as Lyle apparently had George in trouble. George with that punching power that we talked about in prior fights. Lyle is now, Lyle is now ready to go. Against the ropes. About 40 seconds left in the round. Lyle covering up against the rope. His hand was screaming the bomb and hit him in the body. George at the head. Lyle is now wide open. He is right. Lyle 
trying to swing back. This is an artistic, but it is slugging the way the public wants. Lyle now trying to fight back. Only 10 seconds left in the round. Now Foreman was staggered. Foreman was staggered by a Lyle left. Foreman goes down. Foreman goes down. Lyle fights back. Lyle. Foreman has no saving by the bell. No way. Power from here on in, I think it's going to be a match of power and a match of stamina. I think Lyle has a mental edge right here. doesn't even seem to be with it. Kenny made the point that George's hands are down, and so they are. George is falling forward over Lyle, trying to hit back. This is really a heavyweight fight, Howard. It's a total guts here and power. George got a series of left jabs in there, then a right. And they both have changed right hands, Howard, right there. Cut by Lyle. Foreman again in trouble. You see him falling forward onto Lyle. Now it's Lyle. Now it's Lyle. What an incredible fight. Utterly without boxing skills. Just punching away. Each fighter in turn leaving himself open. Foreman's using power in Lyle's waiting just a little too long. They're both fighting. Lyle's got to come back with Lyle. Down to the canvas. Foreman punching him again and again.